The most common malfunction with induction cookers is IGBT failure. They operate at around 2000 watts, making them quite hot both inside and out. Consequently, if the heat isn't properly dissipated, their electronic components will gradually begin to degrade. To address this, a fan and a heat sink are utilized. Any issues with these components can lead to ongoing deterioration. The induction cooker discussed here is an example of this situation, where the problem lies in fan failure. A thermal protection system shuts off the cooker when the fan malfunctions, allowing it to cool for 5 to 10 minutes before being reactivated. There can be multiple reasons for such occurrences within the thermal control system. I can't see the end, but we'll see it we can understand the operation of the cooling fan through visual inspection. To confirm this, open the case and spin the fan. Here, you can observe that the fan is not functioning correctly. It turns on only occasionally. Therefore, this needs to be addressed. Dangerous times don't fly too high. Be sure to keep the ground in sight. It utilizes a 24 volt cooling fan, so you will require a fan with the same specifications. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind. Before installing the new fan, it's essential to examine it. This way, we can determine if there is an issue with the fan's driving circuit. Ensure that the connectors of the new fan match those of the old fan. If the positive and negative wires are not connected correctly, the fan will not function properly. Connect the new cooling fan and verify that it operates correctly. Next, remove the heating coil. Since, it operated without a cooling fan, it is now generating heat. Unscrew all of the screws and remove its control board. This is IGBT. The induction cooker had been operating for several days, without proper cooling, resulting in decreased efficiency of the IGBT. This is causing overheating issues. Therefore, it is advisable to replace the IGBT to prevent any further problems. After removing the heatsink, desolder the IGBT from the board. IGBT stands for, Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor. It is a type of semiconductor device used in various electronic applications, including power control and amplification. IGBTs combine the characteristics of both bipolar junction transistors or BJTs and metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors or MOSFETs. They are commonly used in high power applications such as motor drives, inverters, power converters, and induction heating systems. IGBTs are known for their ability to handle high voltage and current while being controlled by a low voltage signal. Here, the current through the coil is controlled by the IGBT. When purchasing a new IGBT, examine the original and make your purchase based on that. Opting for a cheaper imitation could result in a shorter lifespan and potential damage to other components. Apply heatsink compound, and then attach, the heatsink, before soldering it onto the board. Tighten the screw and, align the leads before soldering.
attach all the connectors to the board. Afterwards, we should test its functionality before securing it with screws. The water is boiling. After verifying that it's not overheated, insert the screw and tighten it. Next, proceed to install the new cooling fan. Test the new fan once more to ensure it operates properly. If the fan rotates smoothly, proceed to close the cover and secure it with screws. Lastly, conduct another comprehensive test. Verify all switches and functions to ensure they are operational. Consider running the appliance for a slightly longer period and at higher wattage settings to confirm its performance. Some common reasons for induction cooker failures include component malfunction, the internal components of an induction cooker, such as the power board, control circuitry, and cooling fan, can malfunction over time due to wear and tear, electrical surges, or manufacturing defects. Overheating, excessive heat generated during prolonged use or poor ventilation can cause the cooker's internal components to overheat, potentially leading to circuitry damage and system shutdown. Cookware compatibility, induction cookers require compatible cookware with a ferrous base. If the cookware does not have the appropriate magnetic properties, it might not heat up properly or at all. Sensor issues, malfunctioning sensors or incorrect calibration of the temperature and proximity sensors can result in inaccurate temperature settings or failure to detect cookware. Power supply problems, issues with the power supply, such as voltage fluctuations or electrical supply disruptions, can impact the induction cooker's performance and cause it to malfunction. Control panel failure, the control panel, which includes the touch controls and display, can experience failures due to physical damage, moisture ingress or electronic component issues. Cooling system failure. If the cooling fan or heat sinks fail to dissipate heat effectively, the cooker may shut down or operate at reduced power to prevent overheating. Wiring or connection problems. Loose or damaged internal wiring, connectors, or solder joints can disrupt the electrical pathways, leading to operational failures. Software glitches. Induction cookers with digital controls may experience software glitches or errors that impact their performance. Age and wear. Like any electronic device, induction cookers can degrade over time due to normal usage, resulting in decreased efficiency and eventual failure. Environmental factors, exposure to moisture, heat, or other adverse environmental conditions can contribute to the premature failure of an induction cooker. Regular maintenance, proper usage, and using compatible cookware can help extend the lifespan of an induction cooker.